tomorrow we're going to finish the paperwork. There's three more documents that you have to get from Sam before you can dispatch. We're going to go in more detail about a carrier packet, Raycon, and BOL. So what did you guys think? Interesting? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very, very, it's a lot of information, but it's good information. Mm -hmm. It's going to come together. I promise you. It will come together. It really will. All right, we got 30 minutes. So anybody want to say anything? Can we ask questions um, about anything? Mm -hmm. I mean, well, it's going to be about... Mm -hmm. Well, I just want to know um, <laughs> how do we get paid? I'm pretty sure you're going to get to that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll leave. Well, it it's it's simple. It's really simple. You see how I sent you that invoice? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's really it. And I'm going to give you something that you can use as an invoice, where you can track your load, so you know what you're billing Sam for. You don't have to overcomplicate it. I my options that I prefer to be paid it would be different from somebody else from somebody else's but it really is just as simple as you're going to invoice sam so once sam get paid he pays his dispatcher well i want my money whether he get paid or not <laughs> <laughs> yeah you did the work so okay. yeah so even if sam doesn't have a factoring company um he can't expect for you to wait that amount of time the way that he can right so it's asinine to think that you would dispatch for him for 30 days before you collect i'm getting ready to do an article about um you know trust runs both ways because a lot of times dispatchers they're so just they, they are fixated on, is he going to pay me? Is he going to pay me? Is he going to pay me? And let me tell you how I prefer to answer that question. Number one, you can't be around here rescuing drivers. You know, you, you're just going to book a load at the spur of the moment. You don't know anything about them. You didn't get all their paperwork. That's a classic sign of how you can get guy. That's number one. Number two, you got to cultivate a relationship. It takes probably two conversations with a driver before they commit to having a dispatcher. It's not a love story on the first conversation. It's, it's not. So I feel that if you take your time and you talk to the driver and that driver isn't pressured and they make a decision on their own that they want a dispatcher, I think you're good. If you put money on the truck, there's no reason for them not 